Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I'm bringing you guys another brand new CDV. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first review of this guy to hit YouTube. That is none other than the Civivi Mini Astakis. And that is a lot better than a fat ass to kiss, as you can tell from the thumbnail. Now, uh, before we go any further on this guy, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length of 7.55 inches with a blade length coming in at 3.25 inches. The cutting edge comes in at 3 inches with a blade width coming in at 0.92 inches. And the blade thickness on this guy is 0.12 inches. Blade material on this guy, 10CR15COMOV. Now, we'll, we'll touch more on that when we get to the blade. Um, a blade style of what I'm going to call a drop point. I mean, it certainly looks like a drop point, but it's uh, it's almost walking that fine line, fine line of a straight back. But uh, I think it definitely gets chalked into the drop point category by, by just a hair. We have a handle length coming in at 4.30 inches with a handle thickness coming in at 0.48 inches. The handle width on this guy is coming in right around an inch with handle material on this one being, uh, okay, I apologize in advance for murdering this, but uh, Cuiborsha? Cuiborsha? Cuibordia? Wood? It's a type of wood. This is a fancy wood, um, or at least a wood. I don't know how fancy it is. Um, but they also have options in brass and G10. As for the locking mechanism, we are looking at a liner lock, and we have a user of a right or left hand tip-up carry with a weight coming in at 3.02 ounces and a price of a very reasonable $63.75. So not too bad at all there. Now let's take a look at some size comparisons because this really is a miniature, miniature Astacus. And they did a really good job of making it not too many. Let's compare it to the Civivi Elementum, which is considerably bigger than. I mean, the Elementum is, is, is a relatively small knife. But then we have the Civivi Brazen, which is obviously bigger. And now, if anyone is uh, real familiar, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, of the original Ascus, the original Ascus was a big knife. It would have been probably considerably longer than the Brazen. So as you can see, with the Brazen being a little bigger, it gives you a good comparison of just how much they slimmed this guy down. They made it a very nice, EDC-able size for a lot of people, which is a great, great thing. Now, I got one more round of size comparisons, and the next two are the two of the, the best comparisons in my collection in terms of size and I guess a little bit of ergos, but the Ferrum Forge Stinger, as well as aesthetics a little, I guess. We have the Ferrum Forge Stinger, and the closest one, the Civivi Ortis, which is the probably the prime comparison here, because as you can see, this Ortis is almost the exact same length. Um, somewhat similar handle, um, very similar edge on these two guys. Actually, this edge is a little better, but as you can see there, that should give you guys a good idea of the size of this guy. And now let's get into this blade and man, this is an absolutely gorgeous blade with a razor sharp edge. One of the sliciest Civivis I've come across in quite a while with an edge reading of 10 and a half to 11 thousandths. I, I'm not even gonna be able to, yeah, ooh, that kind of gives it to you pretty good right there. Look at that, paper thin. This thing is cutting through the air right now as we speak. Just one of the sliciest, most attractive blades Civivi I think has ever stirred up, in my opinion. Um, I liked the that regular Astakis, I had one. I just, there was a couple things I didn't like about it which is why I sold it, and I'll explain those as we get through the review. You'll see that one more so when we get to the handle and ergos. Um, but as we were saying with the steel in this guy, this 10, 10 CR 15 COMOV. So I'll apologize in advance because I'm going to explain it to you guys in this movie and I, or in this review. And then I've also had another review that I'm holding off. I'll probably post it later this week where it's another CVV and I explained 10 CR MOV again or 10 CR 15 CO MOV. It's a lot of letters, but whatever. Um, so I'll explain it to you right now too. From what I could find in my research, this is kind of like a variant of VG10. Very similar to VG10 from what I could find. Um, so what it should give you is some good corrosion resistance. Um, it should take a really nice edge. Edge retention should be, you know, 
decent, nothing special, nothing crazy, but, but, but okay. Um, and it's more of, you know, kind of a budget based steel. So that's what I could find. If anyone else knows more about 10 CR, 15 CO MOV, let me know. But that's the most I could find out was that it is uh, very similar to VG10. Now going into the handle and ergos on this guy, this is where Civivi made a really great decision in my opinion. Probably the best thing they could have done with this knife to, outside of making it smaller than the Astacus, to differentiate it a little more from the Astacus, they made the scales fully cover the liners, as you can see here. If you guys remember the original Astacus, it had kind of a, there was a swoop in the handle, and the, the, the actual scales didn't go all the way to the end here. They kind of came up short and wrapped around the front. So it, 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 it just looked a little weird to me. I, I personally wasn't a big fan of that. It wasn't, it wasn't a very attractive design, in my opinion, which is one of the reasons I ended up selling mine. And it was really just, it was kind of just too big for me. Um, I just found myself not carrying a lot completely different story here but I love the way they just made the the uh the scales fully come out to the liners um it, it didn't make like a massive difference but it just looks better it's just it's more pleasing to my eye at least I I kind of have an attention to detail that others don't have and it, it it just really worked for me um as for the ergos they're decent they, they're really pretty good I just wish the handle was either one of two things either a bit thinner or or it had a flatter clip with a lower profile. These Civivi clips are nice, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not totally knocking them, but they just don't work on some of Civivi's knives. Now, some of them they're great with, but this is a prime example where it just it does it, it's not my favorite clip to put on this. I wish it was a flat clip because it is a narrow handle, and you know. It, it's not a hot spot. I, it is not a hot spot, but I just, I feel it so much when I'm holding on to this handle. I will say over the past day, day and a half that I've had this now, I did push this to the very front of the line because I think this is going to be a highly anticipated and very well-selling Civivi. So I wanted to make sure I got it out to you guys quick, but um, it, I just wish there wasn't that, that curve here. I, I'm becoming more and more, as I told you guys before in the past, I'm a huge fan of of the flat clips. I know milled clips cost a little more. The bent ones are easier to make, uh, but I like the flatness of a clip. It really helps the clip just disappear in hand. I don't care if it's super deep carry as long as it's, you know, relatively a low profile carry clip. I'm usually a fan of it, especially if it's flat. So this one is just, it, it, it's just kind of okay, but I don't feel any hot spots. There's no reason for me. There's, there's no red flags being like, oh, whoa, hey, you guys, watch out. Um, not that bad. So decent overall. As for the wood scales, I really love this combo of the wood and black blade. And I also want to point out this is, it has kind of a stonewash look on it. It's not just a one flat coated look blade, which I do like a lot. It, it, it helps me accept a black blade a little more. I'm not the biggest fan of black blades, but I do like the, uh, the, the little stone wash and it's a light stone wash it's not a heavy one but i notice it and it kind of helps me be okay with the black blade a little more but i love the combo of the black and the wood um what i didn't like was when i got this knife it, the surface of the wood was very dry it, it almost had like a white filmy look over it like a white waxy i'm not sure but it just looked dried out did not look good so i took some beard oil and i covered it pretty well in this beard oil and I let it sit for about an hour with the oil on it and it helped it kind of worked as like a varnish where it kind of helped bring the the grain out and the color of the wood and helped it pop a little more but as you can see there's still a little bit of a surface on there and there's a there's actually a few scratches that I did not put on there not a huge fan of that but you don't you have to really look for them if they're not scratches that like actually like pop out and it's the first thing you see when you look at it so not the end of the world but I wasn't really happy to see those but overall I do like these wood scales I just wish they could find a way to where it didn't have that dry kind of it was a very untasteful look when I got it we'll put it that way um but after I put the beard oil on it it did look a lot better and I'm I'm a pretty big fan of this uh setup right here I do like this a lot but also keep in mind these wood scales Eh, you can't see it that much here, but they do have, there you go, you can see them now. They have a little flex to them. 
Uh, more flex than G10 for sure. Not as much as like Grivery or something, but they definitely have some noticeable flex to it, whether or not you like that or not. Just thought I'd throw it out there. I'm okay with the flex these have. It's not that bad. I can, I can live with it. Um, now going into the action... The action on this guy is, I mean, of course, it's Civivi, so it's good. But again, this is a lot like the Ortis, where it's got that nice blade placement, and it just pops out, flies out. Now, on the clothes, it's it, it shakes shut, but I feel, I feel a little grit in this blade when I go to close it. Maybe you can even, yeah, you can't hear it. But um, there's definitely a little grit. Now, I, again, I have to open this guy and clean it. Um, I review all my knives straight out of the box so you guys, or as they are out of the box, um, so you guys know, you know, what exactly I'm getting. But um, I think after a good disassembly and cleaning, it's going to be good to go. But man, this is some really good action. It, it, it's kind of like a combination of the Civivi bow, which it pops right out, but it's a bigger blade. It's very much like the Ortis to where, as you guys can see with these kind of the way the flippers set up. Very similar flippers, and it's just in that right spot to where it just really flies the blade out. Fantastic action. Um, it needs to be a little smoother on the clothes. I think I will get it there with a quick disassembly and cleaning. So that's the action. I mean, it's getting to the point to where I've said it before. There's just... Civivi action is Civivi action. It's some of the best action you can get on a budget knife ever, and uh, that hasn't really changed. Uh, guys, overall thoughts with this knife. I, I love what they did here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Astacus that should have come out the first time, in my opinion. They they went back to the books. They redesigned it a little. They made it smaller. And this is absolutely fantastic. I would take, in terms of just, just like a pure flipper in the Civivi lineup, I would take this over the Elementum any day. Almost any day. 99 out of 100 days, I'm taking this over the Elementum. And it's tied with the Ortis is my favorite pure flipper in the Sahibi lineup. I would also probably take the Ortis over the Elementum most days. Um, but this is just a fantastic offering. One that I think is going to sell very well for Sahibi. And again, I applaud Sahibi for, uh, for, for, for bringing people what they want. I heard a lot of other people say, we'd love to have a smaller Astacus. Well, here you go. We got the mini Astacus. Definitely one I would recommend all day to you guys. Love this knife. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great weekend. And until the next one, I'm out.